guys and welcome back to my second Halloween video of 2017. Today we're going to be creating this easy men's Halloween makeup look. It's kind of like a zip up zombie and this can be done under 30 minutes. So to start off this look I'm just taking any zipper. I picked this one up from a craft store and I'm just going in with a white eyeliner pencil and I'm going to map out where I want the zipper to go. I'm just taking some lash glue. I'm using my Ardell lash glue and I'm just applying this exactly where I've drawn the white lines and sticking my zipper on. taking some liquid latex. Pretty much all my SFX makeup is from BYS, which you can buy from Cosmetics Plus here in Australia. I'm just using the liquid latex to go around the outside of the zipper to make sure that all the edges are flush with the skin. Now I'm just going in with some toilet paper. You could use tissue paper or cotton wool or something like that, but I just find this is a really inexpensive, easy way to do it. And I'm just taking the toilet paper and applying little pieces to the liquid latex. Once I've finished applying all the toilet paper pieces, I'm just going back in with my liquid latex and applying it again over the top. Once I've applied the liquid latex to the outside of the zipper, I'm then applying it to the inside of the zipper all around the mouth area. As you can see, it definitely does not need to be perfect. I'm applying it really messy. I'm also applying it a little bit down the neck so that it looks like the whole mouth has sort of been gouged open. Going back in with the toilet paper, just taking tiny little ripped up pieces and I'm starting to apply this to the inner part of the zipper. This part is really important but super easy to do. This is what's going to really create that rotting skin like effect. I'm sure now you can see a pattern starting to form. Every time we apply some toilet paper, we're going back over it again with the liquid latex. Obviously because the latex is bright white, we need to match it up to our skin tone. So today I'm just using this Chi Chi foundation that matches Raleigh's skin color and I'm just applying this anywhere there's white latex. Now I'm just going in with this dark purple shade and I'm applying this all around the outside of the zipper to create a bruise like effect. But before we do that, we should take some setting powder. So I'm just using this skin colored setting powder from Australis and applying that anywhere we applied the foundation. So now I'm going back in with that purple shadow, just being really messy and applying it all around the outside of the zipper, also around Riley's eyes. And this color is really gonna create the bruise like skin effect. I'm now taking the purple shadow on the inside part of the zipper, especially around the nose and anywhere that we want to create some dimension to the skin. Now going in with this red face paint, also by BYS, I'm just applying this to the majority of the skin on the inside of the zipper. This is going to be the base of our blood. I'm taking this cream eyeshadow palette and I'm picking up the purple and black shade mixed together and I'm just stippling this all over the inner part of the zipper, really focusing it on where I want a little bit more dimension. Now onto my favorite part, which is of course blood. I'm taking this thickened blood from BYS and I'm just sort of putting this wherever I think there would be thick blood. This is definitely what makes the look a little bit more realistic. It's very, very thick, awesome, gruesome blood and it just really pulls it all together. I then decided to add another little wound up on the forehead. It ended up kind of looking like a little bullet shot wound and I just did this the exact same way I did the mouth, just with liquid latex, toilet paper, some eyeshadow, some cream eyeshadow and then some blood. While I'm waiting for the latex to dry on the head wound, I'm just going back in with my thickened blood and I'm starting to apply this on the outer part of the zipper, just sort of slashing it on the skin. Zombie blood spray, it's just from the dollar store, super cheap, and I sprayed it around the gunshot wound. 
now I'm taking this liquid blood and I'm just starting to run it down the gunshot wound. Then using the liquid blood again, I'm just applying this all over around the mouth, under the nose, anywhere I want some dripping blood. Now to finish off the look, Riley's just going to chew one of these vampire blood capsules. It just mixes with your saliva and makes it look like you've got blood in your mouth. It definitely does not taste good, but an awesome effect. So that is the end of this zipper zombie look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up for me. And if you're new to my channel or haven't already, make sure to hit subscribe down below and leave me a comment. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye, guys.